Bonjour tout le monde, my name is Christine and I'm coming to you from the beautiful, wonderful city of Paris at the Sacré-Cœur in Montmartre to tell you about my new YouTube channel on yoga tutorials that will be coming to you every Friday morning, Paris time at midnight. And you can also go to my website to read my blogs for further information, yogaflowerparis.com, and I hope to see you there. Hi again. Okay, today what we're going to be looking at is a posture called Supta Padagustasana. It's the reclining leg hand to toe pose. And it's great for the lower back. It aligns the pelvis and it balances the two sides of the back. Not only does it relieve sciatica and back pain, but it also relieves menstrual cramps. And it's also great for calming high blood pressure. But if that's the case, then you need to put a blanket behind the head. Okay, and this is also really good for removing stiffness and arthritis as well. So what you're gonna need is a belt. And we're gonna take the belt so it'll be ready. And we're just gonna come to Dandasana against the wall. Okay, this is really good for alignment. And what I want you to do just for the minute is really press all the toes into the wall especially the big toes and the little toes, and especially the two corners of the heels. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and put a dimple right above the kneecaps. And do you feel what's going on in the outer s legs and the, the compactness that you find in the hips? That's what we want. That's gonna protect our lower back. So we're gonna just bend the knees, come back, lay down on the floor, and extend the legs again. And as this is Supta Padagustasana articulatory, so what that means is we're, we're working on the articulations in, in, the, in the bones, we're gonna put the belt right above the heel, and we're gonna find a 90 degree angle. And that's just putting the femur head back in its home, back in the ball and socket joint and just kind of waver, hover around that. And because it, obviously it's not 90 degrees for everybody. It's not one size fits all. It's probably 88 for you, maybe 89 for another person, maybe 91 for me. So it's really, really interesting to find where you're at in your body and just try and play with it and see what feels really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Open up the elbows, open up the shoulders, open up the chest, keeping the both legs straight, both of the thighs rolled into the center. We're gonna try and push this thigh away from the rib cage, take it down to the left foot as we're pulling it to the 90 degree angle. Keep the stomach soft. The only thing that should be working here are the fingers and the biceps. And just breathe into it again. Pushing that thigh, the right thigh, away from the rib cage. And breathe. Breathe. And then, taking the belt into the right hand, putting the left hand on the left hip, we're gonna go into lateral. And this is great for menstrual cramps, this posture this phase of the posture. And using the elbow as a little leverage, we're just gonna go over and breathe into this three times. Again, pushing the right thigh away from the rib cage. Keeping the left leg, the left foot active against the wall. Press the big toe into the wall. And on the inhale, come back up. Bring the leg a little bit towards the head if you have the flexibility before releasing it into the 90 degree angle. We're gonna go into Parivrita Supta Padagustasana. Using the thumb, we're gonna press the thumb into the right groin to pull that thigh away from the rib cage. And on the exhale, we're just gonna come over 
keeping the left foot perpendicular to the floor on the wall, against the wall. And again, trying to really pull that thigh away from the rib cage, keeping the stomach soft and trying to keep both of the shoulders on the ground. Breathe into it, relax, abandon the stomach. And on the inhale, come back up and pull the leg into the head before releasing it. And just put it back in its place for a minute to really feel and observe all the re reverberations and the resonance in the both legs and the difference between them because it's really, really a lot different. So I'm going to give you a variation for the other side right now. We can do this starting in this position. And this might be good for a lot of you that don't have the flexibility at the time for the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop this right above the above the heel, keeping the right leg bent and doing all the actions, trying to pull this thigh away from the rib cage, keeping this leg really, really straight, the foot very active, pulling the elbows apart, opening the chest, trying to relax the shoulders into the ground. Okay, and now, keeping the stomach soft, we're just going to skim the right leg on the floor and try and find the wall again with the foot. And there you go. We're in the full phase one now. So keeping the foot flush against the wall, just breathe into this. Keep trying to push that thigh away from the rib cage. And after three breaths, we're going to take this, the, the belt into the left hand, pressing the right hand on the right hip, and on the exhale, bringing this over laterally, keeping the right hip on the floor. And again, trying to push this left thigh away from the rib cage, and breathe into it. Keeping the stomach soft. And on the inhale, coming back up and changing the, the belt to the right hand. With the left thumb, pushing that left thumb into the left groin. On the exhale, bringing that left leg over the top, keeping the right foot perpendicular against the wall. Keeping the stomach soft. I know it's a challenge, but we're going to try and get there. Just feel how good that feels. This is how, this, do you feel, if, if you had sciatica, this would be so good. And on the inhale, come back up. Pulling the leg a little bit towards the head before releasing it, back down to the ground. And just relax and feel the resonance in both the legs. And when you're ready, bend the knees and turn to the side and press up. And there you go. That's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share on maybe Facebook or Instagram. Why not? You can also go to my um, website, yogaflowerparis.com, for further information on this episode and on other episodes. So, au revoir.